What are some of the best examples of machine vision? Machine vision is an amazing technology. It's making huge advances at the moment and companies have begun to use it really effectively. So what I want to do in this video is to give you an overview of the best uh, use cases and the best examples of how machine vision is now used in practice. Machine vision is nothing new. We've used this now for a long time. If you think about barcode readers, this is basically what they do. They're reading the barcode. You're using a machine to read something. Automatic number plate recognition. This is another example where we've used machine vision now for some time. We now have cameras across highways, we've got them in car parks that can automatically read number plates, which obviously gives us this ability to track vehicles in real time. Google Translate is a really cool example of machine vision in practice because you can simply use your phone. So if you're abroad somewhere and you want to understand a menu that is in a foreign language, you simply use the app, you point the app at the menu and it will basically translate it in real time using augmented reality to overlay the translated text over the foreign text that you're trying to read. Healthcare is a really big use case for machine vision. About 60 to 70% of all healthcare data is actually image-based. So we have in images from scans, from CT scans and so on. And this data can now be analyzed using machine vision. So we now have apps that can automatically detect skin conditions. And we now have um, systems that can automatically interpret CT scans to even find pre-cancer cells or broken uh, bones in, in any scans. Car parks are now using machine vision. So in the past we needed little sensors in car parks to give you an idea of where to find empty spaces. Nowadays all you need is a camera that is high up that can automatically monitor where free parking spaces are and it can give people an idea of where to find a car parking space. Machine vision is used in real-time sports tracking. Um, be this in the NBA or in football, in soccer, we now have this ability to track what is happening. And here in the UK, we use a system called uh, Stats that uses 16 cameras that are installed uh, in, a, in a sports stadium and they track the players and they generate about 25 data points per second per player. And machines are now able to understand whether this was a successful tackle, whether this was a successful pass. So real-time real -time sports tracking is a great use case for machine vision. Quality checks. So this is something where machine vision has been used for a long time. If you think about products coming off the assembly plant, for example, machine vision can check whether there are any faults in any of them. And even companies like Domino's Pizza are now using this. So as soon as a pizza comes off the oven, a machine vision camera will scan them to see if it conforms with their quality checks. And in the future, they can even send you an image of your pizza before it even gets delivered to your house. Inventory control. Um, we've used machine vision for a long time in warehouses. Nowadays, we also use it in shops and supermarkets. Walmart is a great example. They have a robot that has cameras on it. This robot drives around the shop and the supermarket all day long, seeing whether uh, shelves are stocked properly or not. And if anything needs to be replenished, it basically sends a message to someone in the store to replenish them. Farming, especially in strawberry picking, we now have robots that use machine vision to identify strawberries. It will check whether they are ripe, it will locate them and then use a robotic arm to automatically pick them, which for me is a real leading edge example of machine vision in practice. Measurement. We now have increasing power in our mobile devices like smartphones. And what we can now use, we can use machine vision to measure distances. Um, in the iPhone, we simply point something we say, I want to measure from here to here, and it will give you a very accurate measure. And this is only going to improve with new technologies like additional sensors such as LiDAR scanners. Safety. When companies want to improve their safety, we can now use machine vision to identify things from social distancing in their offices and their work environments to 
spotting dangers. So Shell is a great example. On, in some countries they use machine vision in their gas stations to detect whether someone might be smoking or using a mobile phone near flammable liquid. And then they can again automate um, a message to them using the tannoy to say, please, please stop this because this is dangerous. Cars. Cars are now using machine vision in lots of different ways. They will monitor traffic ahead of you, they will identify obstacles and even do emergency brakes for you. They can measure the side of the car to look at blind spots and see and help stop you pulling out on, a, on another car. So all of this is going to get better and better where eventually machine vision will enable cars to drive completely autonomously. And sometimes seen as controversial is face recognition, a massive use case for machine vision, where basically machines are able to recognize our face. We are already used to this in iPhones where we use Face ID to help us log on. Um, we are seeing this in airports where we have biometric gates and, and border checks that allow us to enter a country simply based on our face. And we're now seeing this, this in lots of other use cases. You can check into hotels, into cruise ships using Face ID. And in China, they even started um, using Face ID in public toilets to stop people stealing toilet paper. Overall, retail will be um, improved using face recognition. Amazon's vision of the shop of the future is to be able to walk into a shop where it recognizes you, it knows your um, credit card details, you simply walk through the shop. Again, machine vision will monitor what you're putting into your shopping bag and you simply walk out at the end and get charged. All of this enabled by machine vision. If this is of interest and you want to learn more about machine vision, about artificial intelligence and how companies use data, subscribe to this channel or head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find literally hundreds of articles and videos on the topic. <laughs>